This is Teresa. Welcome back to our channel. If you're a part of the TNT community, we appreciate you. We thank you. If you're not, go ahead on and subscribe. Um, like the video, comment, and all of that good stuff, okay? I just want to um, show you all some of the stuff that I'm doing today. Uh, I'm in the kitchen, and right now I'm going to show you it's a mess. I'm baking Nestle Tall House Cookies. I'm going to show you guys. This is one of the oldest recipes around as far as chocolate chip cookies but these are my nestle toll house cookies i just uh put a tray in the oven right here and uh, when i bring those out i'll show you guys but um, i'm gonna make some baked beans i'm cleaning up i'm just i'm it's just a mess in here today i got stuff right here that i'm gonna show you guys i'm doing i'm fixing to put some meat in there and I'm just working, 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 working. I just want to show you this guy right here that's working, working, working. Are you working or what are you doing? Nothing. Right Nothing. <laughs> well, but as I you can see, I got stuff everywhere because I'm I'm cleaning. I'm redoing things. I'm just just working. I'm working and stuff. And so I just want to show you guys. And when I get um to really and truly doing um I want to show you guys, I'm, I'm going to put my file stuff up. I had said it in the last video that I was going to show you guys my file stuff. So I'm going to show it to you. Here's my, um, my file tablecloth on here, but you can't see it. I already put my file um, centerpiece right here, but I just got stuff everywhere. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of trying to get it together where it can look really cute. Okay. So when I, um, Start that process, then I'll get back with you all and show you. So hold on. We are ready. The first batch is ready. Oh my. Let me um put not put but let me um transfer these over to the cooking. My baking, not baking sheet, but my rack. Cool. So they can cool the rack. Cooling water. <laughs> Cooling, right? The grandchildren are coming over today, so you have to have something for them to eat. I'm making them just as small as I can because Jaden and Brayden love these cookies. So that's the first batch, guys. I'm going to turn my, uh, I'm going to turn my, uh, cooking I'm going to turn my oven to 325. Because um, I think they're cooking a little too fast on that 375. So, all right, I'm getting ready to, y'all want to watch me? I'm putting another batch in. Come on, thing. Let me put this down. Uh-oh. Teresa. Another one. In action. Okay, second batch coming out. Second batch. <laughs> second batch. We're gonna put these. Mmm. Old fashioned toll house chocolate chip cookie. You see, each batch yields nine cookies. You see the first batch? <laughs> yeah. Where them six cookies went? I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. But I'm telling you, it's good. I, I hope she put the description, I mean, the ingredients in the description, because it's worth making these. Well, I put it in the description, but if you've ever cooked Toll House cookies before, you know that the recipe is on the box, on the back of the bag of chocolate chips. That's what I love about it. Don't and give me your secret. Well, I wish it was my secret. That means I, we be loaded from all the years that people have been cooking um, Toll House cookies. But anywho, we're going to go with our third batch. So... Oh, the third batch come out. Okay, guys, I told y'all that I'm doing a lot today, and I am. Right now, I'm about to um, put some um, meatballs 
in the crock pot for these grand boys of mine. So I'm trying to, all my help is gone today. They done left me, but I'm gonna try to do this if I can. But I'm, I'm gonna put these, uh, I'm doing this for my daughter. She had to work, so. But anyway, I'm gonna put these meatballs, this is what she got, and I'm gonna um, put these in here. Show you guys how we going to Just gonna pop these in here like this. Ooh, that's a lot of meatball. My love. Okay, all right. All right, Teresa. So, anywho, let me get me a um, spoon to make sure. I think I'm gonna have to take some of these out of here, guys. These are a lot of meatballs. I don't know if I can even close my, let me see. Yeah, I can close the crock pot. All righty then. Well, we're going to work with this. <laughs> we are going to work with this. So, what we're going to do is, I got, uh, this is two cups of Sonny's barbecue sauce. And I got, um, what is this I have? This is uh, a third a cup of ketchup. And I got one cup. Move my spoon. This is one cup of grape jelly. So let me go ahead on and put uh I still think that's too much y'all. Uh, too many meatballs. Hold on guys, I think I'm gonna take some of these meatballs out of here. Cause I don't think they're gonna eat that many meatballs. So hold your horses. Alright guys, I'm back. I, as you can see, I took some of them out. And that's better for me. Alright, so now I'm gonna put in this. These two cups, I'm going to cover these meatballs here with these two cups of barbecue sauce. I have to get my spoon and get the rest of that out of there. But then I, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the cup of grape jelly in here. That's my grape jelly. And then this is one third cup of ketchup I'm going to put in here. in there like that get all of the yummy goodness out and then I'm going to put in uh, let's see if I can get this here I'm going to put in about hmm about a tablespoon like that that's good garlic powder okay and that's it, guys. I'm going to turn it on high right there. And um, I'm going to put my lid back on it. I'm going to just let it. I'm going to just, I'm not going to fool with it. I'm going to just let it sit just like that for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'm going to start mixing it all together. When I do that, I'll come back and show you okay, all. Okay, guys. Third batch. Third batch getting ready to come out. Let me turn this timer off. And let's get this third batch out of here. This is, the, this is the third batch here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep on. I probably got, I think I got maybe two more batches to go. And, uh, and then I'll be done with this. Okay. But then I also want to show you all. Look, back to this. I told y'all I'm doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of things today. But I want to show you. I'm going to stir this. I'm not going to really stir it. I'm just going to kind of move it around and down and in like this right here. Yep, so it can get all down in, into the um, meatballs, Okay. So, I just want to show you all me doing this. Alright. Making sure all the meatballs are getting. So, I'm going to do that and just make sure everything. And and I, I don't know about y'all, but I got to clean all this stuff. I hate, ugh. I got to clean that up make that look pretty. <laughs> so, when I get through mixing it all up, uh, I'm going to make sure my... I just, to me, 
food, if it, presentation is everything, make your food look pretty, guys. Make it look pretty. So, um, I'm going to mix all this up and clean it all up and um, finish these last two batches. And then I've got to go to the next thing, which is making some baked beans, okay? All right, guys, I just got the last batch out. This is the last batch of cookies. So I'm done with that. And believe it or not, I'm going to put some eggs on. Got eggs boiling. Or some deviled eggs <laughs> and these are the meatballs they're steady cooking they're not done yet so but uh, I'm, I'm about to start on these baked beans and get them on um, situated so just hold on okay guys I'm getting to work here on these ground uh, this is turkey to go into the uh, baked beans. I know some people put ground beef, but uh, we don't eat beef here. Uh, my daughter, she usually fixes this, but uh, she's working, so I'm doing it for her. And she wants me to put this try. Let me show y'all what this is called. It's called tri pepper mix. It's called tri pepper mix. And it has all your uh, bell peppers in it. Your yellow ones, your red ones. Is that? Yeah, yellow ones, red ones, green ones. And so, <clears throat> let this cook a little. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna let this cook a little here. Trying to record and cook. So we're gonna let that cook. Just show y'all what I'm doing. Got that like that. The meatballs going. I'm about to pull my eggs out. And then I got my baked beans set up right here. Oh, yeah. We got the sweet no, uh, baby good. rays, oh, barbecue okay. sauce, and, okay. and here is my brown sugar. And if y'all hear people in the background, just look it over because it's real life. It is what it is, okay? All right, so let me get these this meat. Okay, guys. You can see the, the meat is about done. Just trying. Alright guys, I'm going to show you all, um, uh-oh, my can, I want to, uh-oh, well, my son's supposed to open this can for me, but it don't want to open, so I think you need to open enough for me to, there we go, that'll work right there. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going to pour these baked beans in here. Right here. Like right this. And then. Mm -hmm. TJ, what happened, buddy? Okay, this is the second thing. Get my head. Okay, don't y'all do this, yeah. Y'all make sure you can open all the way. <laughs> TJ was supposed to open this can for me all the way. Into who? They're in there. That's how that matters, okay? So we got them in. All right. Pan was clean out, ready, and all of that good stuff. So we got the beans in. Next thing I want to do, guys, is pour this meat in here that I just fixed, hot and fresh, got that in there like that, and now I'm going to just mix it all up in here, okay, all up and through the meat like that, 
for now. Because the next thing I want to put in here is the sugar. And I'm going to, I'll write all this down for you all in the um, description, okay? How much I put in here. So what we're going to do now, mix that right there. And now I'm going to put the star of the show, the Sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce. I'm going to put this in here. Okay. Okay. And now let me just mix it all up. It's going to be. And then, what you do, you taste it to see if it's to your liking. So, with that being said, hold your horse. Let me get, get me a spoon out of here so I can just see what it needs. My God. Don't need nothing to me. Just need to be eaten. But, um, let's see. Alright, that's about it, guys. It doesn't need anything else to me. Because it has the, you have the, um, the dark brown sugar in here. And you got the sweet baby rays. So you don't want it to be too sweet. So that's more than enough sweetness in there as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so I'm just going to flatten this out like this right here, and I'm going to put it in the oven, let it bake on 325, probably for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, this is me. Um, I'm going to cut these uh, eggs, cut them the long way, put the yolk right here, put it right there in my bowl, Okay. Just cutting these up the long way, just like that. Popping it in. Mm. Popping them. Yeah. <laughs> that one I want to pop. But popping them in like that. Just cutting them and popping them. Okay. Can y'all see them? But that's them right there. So I'm going to do that. Just show you all what I'm doing. And then when I get through them, you know the next step. These are the stars of the devil eggs. So I done put the yolks in here. And now I'm going to um, put some mayo, some mustard, and some sweet salad cubes in here. And mix that together and put it inside the egg. All right, guys, I'm done. Those are your deviled eggs or angel eggs. Some paprika and parsley flakes on top. And those are your angel eggs. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to start working on the outside with these items right here. I just want to show them to you before I go outside and start, okay? These are the outside items that we're about to go and fix up.